Yo, what is poppin'? Brendan with the Atlas Stationers coming at you live from Chicago. We out here in a slightly different area of our facility. We are up front hosting today's live video. I hope y'all are doing well. It is Wednesday. Don't know the date, maybe June 14th, 15th. But we out here, we got some orders to pull. Um, of course, some announcements. It seems like there's never a shortage of announcements going on, whether it's in regards to events, products, um, things of that nature. So the agenda will be uh, pulling orders today. Um, some announcements in regards to the actual structure of pulling orders, um, you know, things like that. So first, um, we just posted about our sidewalk sale. Uh, the 36th annual sidewalk sale is August 17th and 18th of this year. So many of you have reached out suggesting that you will be attending, um, which is really awesome to hear, especially if you're traveling from out of town. Um, the next step that we are working on is figuring out a way to um, either host an event or um, figure out a hotel block for out-of-towners um, so that way you guys can all meet up here at our shop for the event um, you know with affiliates with followers of our channels things like that so be on the lookout for that uh, additionally the vendor list is only getting longer we have about 10 different 10 ink and stationary vendors flying out here which would be crazy yeah, and I want to piggyback on the sidewalk sale. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are planning to come, we'd love to hear from you just to get an idea of you know how many people we're expecting to mm -hmm. to make a trip out to us here in Chicago. So if you're coming, you know you're in the TikTok live right now. Let us know if you're watching the YouTube replay. Love to get some feedback on who's planning to attend mm -hmm. uh, the sale in mid August. Yeah, maybe we can do some sort of roll call or, or whatnot, um, just because, you know, if you're making a huge trip out here, which some of you have indicated you'll be flying out here from pretty, pretty far states, um, we want to make sure that you have an opportunity to meet, um, you know, obviously us, the vendors and other customers of Atlas. So, yeah, really excited about that. Um, got a couple events happening um, at the end of this month and at the end of next month. So check out our events page for more information. Now, um, after we pull these live orders, we're going to go ahead and do uh, something a little more, a little different, a little more special than we normally do. And that's kind of go around the pen cases and show up, show up some of the products that you don't necessarily see as often. Many of you have vocalized that it'd be interesting to see other aspects of our store and the product selection that we offer, considering that when we do the live orders, a lot of you order very similar things. So we'll pull some orders here and we'll show off the pens and then we'll call it a day. Uh, lastly, we did post uh, a YouTube video today from last live's video. Um, the repost is up. There's a big giveaway attached to it, so go check it out. Appreciate the love there. Now, one thing I'd like to say, uh, the subscription box, the June box is going to end on June 19th. So if you want June's subscription box, you have to sign up before June 19th and you will get this month's box. If you wait until the 20th or beyond, then you will receive the following month's box or July's box. Next, if you have an order that you want pulled on TikTok and it has a subscription box, we're not going to be able to pull it. There's just too much involved in setting aside the order for TikTok, then pulling the items on video, then setting it aside again for the subscription box because we can't pull the inks on live because we can't give away what we're offering and then putting it aside, fulfilling it, et cetera. There's just too, simply too much involved. So I've got a couple here that I'll give shout outs for, but we won't be able to pull your order. Additionally, um, with the order polling videos, the queue is getting so long every single episode. You guys have really shown a lot of love and support, which we appreciate. However, just keep in mind, we do our best to poll whatever we can. If you don't see your order polled, you know, we may have not had the opportunity to get to it, so we do apologize. Um, it's not a guaranteed service we offer. This is something we just do for fun uh, as we love the community and enjoy doing these types of things. And then lastly, with the request, we're starting to see very, very specific requests. So I'd like to address this as well. Although we try to keep up with everything, we cannot guarantee that we abide by your request, whether it's for specific inks for your mystery boxes or you want particular gifts. Again, this is kind of just something we do for fun and it's not, you know, a full guaranteed service and we can't just abide by any requests you put in the order notes. All right. That being said, Brian, are we ready? Uh, yeah, actually, I want to talk about the subscription box, though. Sure. You want to, let's actually have you give the shout out to the 
subscription box for June, and then we'll talk about July. Sure, yeah, so there's a few people here that ordered boxes uh, and has to be pulled on the live. Uh, big shout out to Ruth W, order number 119718. We'll get you June's box out the door, hopefully today. And then this one is for Grace Z, order number 119731. Nice note here, aloha, I'm excited for the subscription. There are no decent stationers in Hawaii. This is my birthday present to me. Opening this every month will be truly happy mail. Grace, happy birthday, appreciate the love. You'll get this month's box as well. And then this one is for Jennifer B, order number 119681. Doing a subscription box as well as some accessories and pens. So we're gonna have to pull this off video unfortunately, but nice note here. Okay to video my weird order if you want. I watch the replays on YouTube, makes for great company while I work. I have a fake light up bonsai tree in my office and decorate it with bookish and inky or pen like decor. I would love any type of enamel pin, button, or keychain for my tree if you have any freebie thing like that. From Jennifer. Jennifer, I'll see what I got laying around. We'll still include a gift for you on this particular order. Really appreciate the love as always. And what a dope thing to have on your desk a bonsai tree. Love it. Yeah. And so let's talk now about the subscription box uh, that's coming up in July. Wanted to give a little teaser to everyone. So that first box that uh, went out for June, we included an extra ink. So the subscription box is supposed to be for three inks. The first set, we gave out a fourth uh, for everyone that ordered it. And uh, hopefully everyone has their box by now if you were part of that initial shipment. Mm -hmm. The July box is actually gonna have four inks as well. And it's gonna be due to uh, one of the inks being a Colorverse set mm -hmm. where you get two inks in one box. It's the uh, big set. Yes. So Very just wanted, high value. Uh, yep. Let everyone mm -hmm. know that uh, we're going to have one of those in this next set for July. Yeah. The value for the first box was like nearly double. Uh, this box is pretty high up there in value as well. And what we might consider doing is once the deadline passes, maybe we'll post a video of us pulling our sub box or taking a photo of, you know, hey, this was June subscription box in case you missed it. That way it gives the incentive for you to join in the next month because you don't want to miss out on these guys. All right. How are we feeling? Are we ready? Yeah. Uh, let's get going. Okay. So the first one we pulled off camera, um, it's our new Bainu Euphoria Gold Coast. This is for Julia L. Order number 119179. Uh, please pull my order on TikTok. I love watching your replays on YouTube. Stay smooth. So if you missed the last video, these... Exclusive Bay News just arrived, uh, inspired by the Gold Coast neighborhood um, and the beach, uh, Oak Street Beach, right there that is harbored in between Lakeshore Drive and Lake Michigan. Fantastic location, great neighborhood. Um, this is a limited production, so the first batch we're actually almost out of already. But Julia is going to be doing this. And let me go ahead and talk about the gift for today. Um, we are going to be giving away the Monteverde Special Edition LA Pen Show Inc. for these orders that we pulled today. Compliments of Ken and the team at Yaffa. We mentioned that they're sending a ton of ink that we can uh, give away here. So everyone give a big thanks to Ken and his team. So Julia, you're getting one of those. And then you're of course getting the Atlas card here. Nothing but pride. I think this one was actually geared towards the Narwhal Pride pen, but we are doubling up today. You are getting the beautiful Atlas Summer card. Very fitting because it is June. So really appreciate the love, Julia. You stay smooth. Yeah, and let's get caught up here. Sure. Uh, got a couple things from Kelsey, but uh, hey, Brian. Hey, Kelsey, I am back. And uh, wanted to let everyone know that I am been uh, changing my schedule just to make sure I'm here for the live. So I will be here moving forward Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to make sure that I can keep Brendan on track. I, I saw yep. a couple of those videos from last week. And uh, they were good. Yeah, so good. But I promise I will outperform the tripod today. And uh, Tanya, uh, super love the Banu. Mm -hmm. UP USPS needs to get the lead out and deliver mine. So hopefully you're getting yours uh, any day now. I know they started shipping out the other day. And we got another one here for Rachel H, order number 119503, just as you're talking. Yeah. No, another Banu. We are blowing through these. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as everyone can see, we had the, uh, the teaser picture up last week, the stock image that we were given by Banu before we actually got these. And seeing the pens in person really just took yeah, it to another level. The photos were great, but the, the amazing colorway involved in the... Uh, 
the pens was absurd. So definitely check it out. You don't want to miss out. And uh, maybe this opens up the door for more exclusive Bay News here at Atlas in the future. Um, Rachel, thanks for the love. We're setting you up with the Monteverde ink as well as the Atlas card. So perfect. Yeah, and Kelsey asking if I was a little hurt by the tripod. Yes, and uh, that tripod is no longer on premise. It has uh, been discarded. So nice. No competition. All right, so we pulled some of those ahead of the show. Um, let's go ahead and jump into a couple orders that we need to pull um, and actually grab the products for. This one's for Kumar S, order number 119680. It's for an auto foot pen. Uh, hi, Brendan, how are you? Thanks for pulling my latest order on your YouTube video. I hope to see this order included in your next live. Can you add a few samples of ink, which are not conventional, unique colors, as I want to really try them out before I buy? So yeah, we're gonna go ahead back here and pull the Auto Hut Design 04. This is gonna be a really pretty one. It's the black with rose gold waves. Um, once I show you this, you guys are gonna gasp because the machine work on these German pens are just unbelievable. So let's see. 04 waves. With the medium, I believe it is this one right here. And actually, we're going to double up. Whoa. That's Big crazy. A there. little juke. Yes, you It's actually uh, an order for another Bay New Euphoria. So we're going to double up here. Yeah, and I can promise you the tripod would not have been able to handle that as smoothly as I did. Yeah, that was uh, inspired by the finals last night in the NBA. Shout out to... Uh, Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, the Nuggets, excited to see their first NBA Finals appearance and win in the 47 years of franchise existence. I love seeing teams and players win that are not a part of dynasties because it's no fun watching the same team win over and over again. Unless it's Chicago teams, then that, that's an exclusion. All right, so this one is for Kumar. Let's go ahead and show you the pen. Yeah, this one is crazy. We'll do our best not to get our fingerprints on it. Yeah, they use 925 silver. Isn't she lovely? Beautiful. And yes, Tanya, this is an auto hot. Yeah, so that's the 04 design. It's pretty much their bread and butter design. They also have some solid color options. Um, so keep in mind, you know, if you don't want the extravagant and more uh, luxurious design on yours, the engraving, you can go for just a solid color, you know, black with silver or blue. Uh, I think they even do a pink. So this one is going to be boxed back up. And uh, for the gift today, Kumar, we've got those Monteverde inks. These ones are pretty exclusive because it was released for the LA Pen Show. So not many people are going to have these. And then we'll also get you your card. Stay smooth, brother. All right, so because I'm awesome and think ahead, this one is for Dolores A, order number 119597. Dolores is a very, very big supporter of the channel, doing our Gold Coast Bay New Euphoria. See, you guys, just within requests to be pulled live we had three of these this morning i mean they're moving super quickly yeah, that one's got a lot this one has of purple a, in it yeah this oh. one's definitely kind of changing colors from the acrylic into the blue love it yeah you don't want to miss out on these uh if the logistics allow please pull on tiktok when that long-awaited day arrives y'all are the best love your exclusive bay new dolores thank you so much for the love as always and actually this kind of orangey LA pen show ink might fit decently well with the pen. You know, if you're going for like a sunset vibe. Yeah, and let's talk about exclusives really quick before we move on to the next one. Yep. Uh, so we have been busy working on a number of Atlas exclusives over the last year uh, and for the upcoming you know, six months or so. Uh, so in the past six months, we launched the Atlas Iron Ore ink from Ferrisville Press. We had a Robert Oster. Uh, Polar Vortex, we got this Banu here. Uh, another exclusive that's coming out next week is 
the fourth of our Retro 51. Not just the fourth, the final. The fourth and final of our Retro 51 series uh, based on the Chicago flag. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, we added a placeholder on the coming soon portion of our website to let you know as soon as it's available. Uh, but we have that coming and we also just confirmed uh, maybe the biggest announcement we've had besides the, the menu launch. Uh, we have a new exclusive Paniter that's going to be coming mm -hmm. out in the next couple months uh, that we're allowed to talk about, which is uh, going to be their Twin Tank Touchdown demonstrator pen. But instead of their steel accents, we're going to be all, uh, it's going to be rainbow. I don't know if Brennan's got a picture there. Yeah, we can show that because it's on the coming soon part of the website. Oh, so well, perfect. It's not, it's not a secret anymore. Uh, but this we have coming out, we're hoping by the sidewalk sale, we'll that available keep showing it keep showing it give the people what they want and uh yes we do actually have a uh, hopefully an announcement coming soon on vampire pigeon ink uh something else that we've been working on and yeah honey that is the rainbow so it's going to be the the rainbow trim on the demonstrator twin take touchdown avatar from paniter Pretty saucy if you ask me. All right, are we ready to rock? This is the last order for the video and then we'll show off some beautiful, exquisite, fine writing instruments. So this one is for Michelle S, order number 119603, doing some pens and then a mystery box. Let's get it. So let's go grab all the pens from the back, two narwhals and one Monteverde. Go through the notebook aisle. Look at all those inks that just came in. It never ends, guys. Never ends. Yeah, in that pile, we got a restock of Stroke of Midnight by Ferrisville Press. And we also received the newest wearing goal, Color Anubis, which uh, should be in stock now on the website. All right, so two narwhal pens, gold ocelatus in a fine nib. Now I'll show all these when we go back up front. Uh, cichlid purple in a fine nib. And then we need the Monteverde Mountains of the World. Three pens, one order. That's the type of vibe we love to see. Yeah, and Tanya asking, uh, when we show off pens, can you pick ones that aren't as popular, but deserves yes. to be? Yes. I think that's kind of the goal of the video is to educate on more discreet models that maybe you don't see as often. So let me and, pop back over here. Yep, and Kelsey asking uh, if we got the Waringal potions. So we ordered all 10 potions. The I think we received one yesterday. The other nine are on the truck for delivery today. Uh, so they should be here in the next couple hours. Is that that one potion? says your name, bro? Yeah, just Close. joking. That's how most people spell it. So that's how you, that's how they spell it at Starbucks. Yeah, someone you know asked uh, to Let's see the way. new wearing goal. So we've got the ink here. We don't have it swatched yet, though. So I'll make sure we show that off on the next live video. Uh, we do have a swatch, I think, on the website, though, to give you an idea what it looks like. All right, All right. so here are the pens from Michelle. First one we got is the Gold Ocelotus. Actually, I lied, this is the Cichlid Purple, the newer release. Nice rose gold hardware on there. Beautiful design, lots of variation. Next up, we do have the Gold Ocelotus. This one's gonna be a transparent yellow vacuum filling pen. A lot of fun. And then lastly, we've got the Monteverde Mountains of the World. This one's really cool too. This one should actually have a uh, either a black or a rose gold nib. Oh, I lied. Steel nib. I think it's only the Omniflex. Sure. Beautiful pen though. All right, so now, Michelle, those are the three pens you've ordered. Let's 
Take a look at your note for the mystery box. I'd like to remind everyone that the gift today is an orange ink. So if we rely on the chat to pick an ink, please stray away from orange. Hello from Las Vegas. Would love for you to pull my order live. I love watching you pull orders. Helps me see items that I would not be looking for myself. Currently, I have four Ferris wheel press inks. Please feel free to pick colors to match the pens or whatever you want the viewers to pick. I will not be watching live as I will be at work, but we'll watch later in the afternoon. Love your videos. Please keep them coming. See you in August. Wow. So Michelle here looks like she's going to be flying out here from Vegas. So again, this is the type of note we'd love to see. We want to know where you're coming from to attend our event. So chat, why don't you pick out, we got three inks here. Why don't you pick out two of the inks? I'll pick the other, any colors but orange. Let's see what's up. Tanya had that ready to go. Cause as soon as, before you even finished the sentence, we had uh, her selection. Which one? Diamine Shimmering Sands for the yellow pen. Perfect, I like that. So that is a great choice. So we got one yellow. And I'd like to see a Myora. Sure. Ink. Maybe we could do like a turquoise. A turquoise to match the, the uh, Mountains of the World pen. That's blue. So let me, let me see if I can find a turquoise. Red, black, maybe they don't do a turquoise. I guess it's either purple. We can do a purple. Purple will match the other narwhal. Okay. Yeah, let's do purple. I know that looks exactly the same as the uh, blue bottle, which it is, what the heck? What is going on here? Maybe that is, we'll make sure we pulled the purple one. Yeah, it's not purple, it's not purple. Green, but well, now it's green. What the heck is happening? What do you need, number two? Yeah, I need purple. Violet, here we go. If this one is not purple, there we go. Yeah, okay. See, the struggle bus is real. All right, and then we're looking for a blue. Uh, Kelsey had the suggestion of Warringal Alice or Wayfarer. Cool. Yeah, I think Wayfarer will be closer because it's kind of like a blue green. So we'll do Wayfarer. All right, this box is looking swanky. Very sweet. Yeah, what do we, we think? And we just got Anna in the live here and uh, Karina is taken off, but we'll hopefully be back if we're still going on the uh, two hour video length. Definitely That's not two hours. On pace for. Definitely not two hours. And now, Tony making... asked if all those are the same. The Mayora, if uh, the labels are all the same on those. They are bottles. pretty much, except on the back side. Okay. They have like little indicators, but you know, when we're displaying, we want to show the actual product label. So it becomes challenging. All right, so Michelle, thank you so much for the love. Let's get you a card. Thanks, you're the best. Yeah, and uh, Anna said that she didn't get the live notification. So anyone that's in these lives would love for, for everyone to share these when we do go live, uh, just to make sure that it hits everyone. For whatever reason, the TikTok algorithm right by doesn't always push out notifications when viewed when uh, videos are posted time. or when lives are up. So uh, anytime you're able to share, really appreciate it. It's okay, it. I got one. Yeah, thank you. All right, here's the new Anubis ink. Hopefully get that swatch this week, uploaded to our website. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go case by case because we are done pulling the orders. So we'll show off a couple pens from each case, maybe some more, and there goes my keys, maybe some more abstract, not abstract, but yeah, where are we starting? We're starting in, uh... Let's start right here, actually. Okay. So I've yes. got a couple that I want to show. Yeah, I'm right going to show away. the Kiridas. The okay. It's going to be the one that I pick. Is that going to be the original colors? No, the new the ones. The new colors? We have them out? Yeah, these are the three new matte Kiridases from Platinum. Beautiful, beautiful finishes. It's a retractable model. Um, and the matte is pretty much like a rubber feel. Uh, I forgot how much these go for, maybe like 120. They're 120, but they do come as a gift set. So you're going to get a bottle of ink with these. Yeah, so the Kiridas is a really well machined pen. 
Great Can mechanism. I feel, one of those, I feel the great oh, mechanism. Yeah. It's a much different texture than the uh, original ones. Yeah, so um, these ones we just got in uh, at the end of last week. So if you're interested in a platinum pen and you don't want to break the bank, you know, spend $200, the Kyrados would be a great way in. And it's also very functional considering you only need one hand to use it. Yeah, and Tanya's saying I want to feel one before I buy maybe in August. Uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully you're able to get out here. Uh, but they are, they're a lot lighter. Very light. Than what you're probably expecting. Um, this is the Calico celluloid 3776 this is a beautiful pen celluloid is really difficult to work with raw so there's not really many celluloid manufacturers this is all typically older stock this one will run about 480 um, you've probably also seen the jade the ocean blue the cherry blossom the koi and tanya throwing some shade at kelsey and all married people uh, I'm not married, so I can do what I want. Uh, Kelsey was saying she's lucky if she gets to get out here in August. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, this is the SE Vanishing Point. It's one of the rarer things to see with Pilot doing uh, some marbleization on their products as well as a little bit of shimmer involved. So this is their version of the retractable pen. This is the Vanishing Point. You guys have seen it. We got the whole regular edition selection down below. And then featuring some of the Desmos. Yeah, and how SDs. about we show the uh, the Custom 74? Because I don't know if we've really showcased that, but it's a great yeah, so these, entry, entry into the gold nib category. Yeah, so these are all resin-based. Uh, they come in about like seven or eight different colors. Uh, they go for about $170. Nib sizes are extra fine, fine, medium, broad. 14-karat uh, rhodium-plated nib. These are beautiful. Um, really nice to see the transparency aspect because of the fact that it seems like that's a big trend nowadays. Other color options include Merlot, uh, blue, stone blue, green. There's also a clear orange, purple. I think still out there, but we only do a certain selection. So that is Pilot in Platinum. If you guys want to see anything up close that you know maybe we rushed or we didn't go over, please feel free to comment. Uh, let's jump into Diplomat and Paniter. Yeah, so I'd love to see the arrow. Yeah, I think it's only right to show the brand new um, white arrow. All manufactured in Germany. These models were actually inspired by the Zeppelin blimp. Um, these are going to be snap cap closures. Yeah, can you try to get that really close to your mic? It's kind of a satisfying click as you're closing that there. And Diplomat is really known for having some of the smoothest steel nibs out yeah. there. Yeah, this is beautiful. This one's a little more iridescent than what I'm sure the camera's picking up. Standard international cartridge converter, number six nib, can do steel or gold. Uh, nib size is extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. Can also do in ballpoint and roller. So a whole selection of them down below, including the special flame, which is actually stainless steel that is uh, blowtorched rather than aluminum that you see on the other arrows which are typically anodized so this one is substantially heavier but yeah these are sweet um, and then moving over here we've got the diplomat nexus this is actually advertised as an eyedropper uh, this is the gold nib version which will be paired with the gold hardware so it'll come with like a pipette if you will and you actually unscrew the barrel right here grab the ink drop it into the barrel itself there's a, a plastic liner in here so it's not interacting with the finish of the pen and then you'll notice that there's a little bit of play um, right here but let me show the o-ring too the o-ring will help protect the ink from leaking out so it seals it, it acts as a sealant so if you notice right here see that movement right there so what that does is when this is pushed in like that it's sealing the gasket so the gasket can no longer um, open up and allow ink to travel from the barrel of the pen to the grip section. The reason why this is cool is because when you thread it all the way, the grip section is being pushed against the barrel, sealing it. So you're not having ink leak out and puddling into the cap when you're using it or traveling per se. So really cool feature. That's one of the more unique models yeah, we have. Tanya's saying, I've never seen a pen like that. You are correct because that is a uh, Seems like a new technology. New technology. Uh, patented by Diplomat, and I, when we were seeing this for the first time, it's pretty I crazy. I think it's one of the first or the 
newest, uh, first piece of new filling system technology that's been released in years, if not decades. Um, so something completely new to the industry. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I want to get caught up here because there's a nice little chat going on here. Sure. Uh, but a couple people in the group are, are starting to plan the, the August trip here, and they're starting a, a group buy of donuts how, how to many? throw uh, on the front porch for you. Oh, nice. That's when fantastic. You get in there. Yeah. Let's, let's ask this. How many of you watching on the live or the YouTube replay are planning to attend? Let us know right now if you plan to attend our sidewalk sale and where you are coming from. That's going to be the giveaway prompt. Do you plan to attend our sidewalk sale and where would you be coming from? You can still answer. If you're unable to make it, you can still enter the giveaway. We'll let you know what we give away at the end of the video. But let us know live right now. Again, we're trying to set up a big group meeting, whether it's during the event or uh, sometime before or after, and ultimately give you guys the best experience possible to attend with some of your friends. So, all right, let's show off an Arco. This is one of Paniter's premium models. You guys see the Avatar, so frequent, as well as the Rocco's. Um, but these are the Paniter Arcos. The material is made of an, uh, like a celluloid acetate, which is basically a rendition uh, or a modern version of celluloid without the, the flammable feature. So a lot more easy to work with, a lot less risk involved still provides a very similar result in terms of the look of the pen. Um, these are all limited, typically 888 pieces worldwide, manufactured in Florence, Italy. Magnetic cap closure. Both of these are going to be internal piston fillers. Um, this one is heavier than the Rainbow because the Rainbow, they use uh, plastic components or resin components rather than the, the chrome metal hardware and grip section. Super cool, though. These pens definitely rock. Um, one of my personal favorites. I actually own two of these in a rollerball model, though, so pretty crazy. Yeah, and let's get caught up on uh, some of those sidewalk sale requests. Uh, too far from Germany. Uh, from Kelsey, again, I want to, but still trying to convince my husband. Uh, I would love to go. I'm in southern Indiana, so kind of far. Anna, uh, what's the nearest airport? Uh, so either O'Hare or Midway. Both uh, of them, both pretty close. Plenty of transportation options to get you downtown, either Uber or or taking uh, the L to our spot. We have a couple stops within a, a block or two of our store here. Uh, from Caleb, maybe one day, can't miss the start of school. And uh, got another one, love to get there from Dallas. Well, you guys better live up to your word. Seems like y'all are all talk right now. You guys are the ones missing out, not us. We'll be here partying, slanging, and chatting. You know the drill. Um, all right, so this case is gonna be our more conservative slash traditional case. This is the uh, Parker and Waterman case. So um, show off some newer models. You have the Parker Ingenuity. Um, this one is a cylindrical piece with a flat top and bottom finial. A few different options. You can do a lacquer finish, you know, black with silver, black with gold, blue with gold, or you can do the all black matte finish available in rollerball and fountain. These are going to be weighty for sure. If you're looking for a classy weighty pen, highly recommend these. Um, the fountain pen is going to be decked out with some uh, gold plating if you choose to get the gold model with the gold trim. Um, faceted grip section to kind of help you give get a better grip subconsciously. You know, when it's slightly grooved like this, you will get a better grip. Um, also for people with clam in your hands, I think it, it tends to be a little bit more appropriate. Uh, moving forward, this is their most premium model that we carry, the Parker Duofold Blue Chevron. This features a blue guilloche design all on the barrel and the cap. One of my favorite nibs, the Dual Tone Parker 18 karat gold nib with what appears to be like a spade imprinted right at the breather hole. This is such a sweet design. And then down below, you got the Sonnets in the 51s. Um, those are just some of the lower end models, started about $80, goes up to about $300. Yeah, and I want to let people know, we do have a couple of the Parker 51s on Last Chance right now. Uh, so if you go to the Last Chance section on our website, you can get an extra 50% off uh, specific pens that are on that Last Chance deal. You just need to use the code LC50 to take advantage of that. Uh, this right here is the Waterman Hemisphere. It is the thinnest profile pen we offer in the shop. 
So if you want something that maybe is a little bit tinier for you know individual with smaller hands, this would be the model for you. This is part of the new spring block collection where they take two different colors, two different tones of the same color, but one pastel like uh, on the, the barrel and then on the cap itself. This yeah. one is the, the blue. Yeah, and we've shown the, the hemisphere a few times now, but I don't know if we've shown a Karen. Yeah, so this is the Waterman Karen. This is the best selling colorway. This is the amber. It's a vintage inspired piece with an inlaid nib. So the nib is inlaid into the grip section rather than tucked underneath um, in a housing section, which typically then screws into the grip section. It's a very vintage inspired. Uh, I believe this is a 18 karat gold nib. Um, we'll post as well, but the amber finish is just stunning. Very, very classy looking pen. Highly recommend you look into this. Snap cap closure, really not much to dislike yeah, on what's this the, piece. What's the price on the Karen? Uh, the amber is about 250 so really solid deal for an 18 karat gold nib. Let's yeah. just confirm that, and, yeah. Uh, I must not have been listening or paying attention as usual to what you're talking about, but uh, did you compare the hemisphere to the lily put? I did not, no. Oh, okay. Because, uh, or at some point to that, Tanya said lies. Coico lily put is tiny. So I don't That's know. That's tinier. I think the hemisphere is a thinner profile. Okay. Well, we can check right now. Let's see who's right. Yeah, not, not talking about pocket size, talking about um, dimension of the, uh, the, the diameter, I guess, is more appropriate. Okay. But let's see. And oh, Anna asked, can we show the lapis blue? Are you talking about the new Delta? celluloid pen and we had someone asking about the sidewalk sale date uh, which Kelsey answered but it is August 17th and 18th downtown Chicago uh, it's gonna be right outside the steps of our store on the sidewalk out here we'll be taking up at least half a block of space uh, with all the different vendors that are gonna be coming in and showing off their collections if you want to get a close up. Yep, and Anna does want to see the uh, Delta. I don't know if we have those out yet or if we need to wait for for next video. Lilliput Hemisphere. Very good. All right. You guys can put in the chat who you think is right. I think the Hemisphere might be slightly smaller at the back end where it tapers down softly. Don't know, though. You guys know me. I can't be wrong. Yeah, and Anna asking, can we buy from those vendors? So anyone that comes to the sidewalk sale, they're either going to be showcasing product that we have in stock that makes its way out there, or they're going to be bringing their entire collection. Yeah. Uh, pens that they will be selling, maybe that we don't have access to, or, or maybe not access to, but we don't stock on a normal basis. Uh, so Actually, gonna... all of them will have their entire collection. So all of them. Yeah, okay. they'll bring zip, like huge zip cases. Yeah, if yeah. you're able to see some of the pictures from last year, let's see if we can post in the coming days some uh, photos of what the event was like last year. You can get an idea of how many pens you, you're going to have access to. I'd uh, get to see in person, uh, plus all the inks. Uh, we're working on getting a number of ink manufacturers here, including Ferris Wheel Press, which is confirmed to be here for the event. Yeah, so how it works, just to reiterate and kind of expand, the vendors will all be outside on the sidewalk. There might be a couple in, indoors, depending on uh, how many vendors we have. This is the Lapis Blue Celluloid, by the way, actual celluloid from Delta. But they set up, literally, their zip cases full of just hundreds and hundreds of pens. And it's basically like, they'll have almost one of each pen from the brands they represent. So we do our best to carry as much as we can, but like, let's look at a brand such as Conklin and Monteverde. Both of them offer literally hundreds of pens in the catalog. We simply can't stock them all. So during those events, Ken will bring every single pen that then he could buy that you could buy directly. So pretty exciting stuff. Um, if you are interested in anything that you see during the live videos, because we will be doing uh, you know content online, you can hit us up in the DMs. Maybe there's something that you want to see um, via photos or that you want to buy online if you can't attend. But essentially, you just buy directly from them. It's super easy and I really want to reiterate because I know a lot of you browse our website or come in store and shop our collection that we offer but what we have on that day is truly unbelievable yeah so I think so, we have about 700 750 fountain pens available on our website uh, any given day yeah we're talking thousands yeah, thousands, thousands like literally and thousands it's like the largest outdoor pen event probably in the world 
So yes. that's an assumption, but I'm going to assume correct. Um, let's jump into Pelican too. You can read some comments, but here is the new M800 green demonstrator. Yeah, and uh, as someone asking about that highlighter yellow sure. Pelican, and it looks like Weva just got in saying that your hair looks fancy today. Me? Yes, you. Nice. I'm actually growing it out. Um, you know, I usually get a fade every like three, four weeks, but I'm going to grow it out and try to get some lettuce down below, slick it back a little bit. Nothing super crazy, but I just want to get some flow, you know, change it up a little bit. Um, I don't know why I'm always in the habit of having the same hairstyle every single day. So, yeah. And Kelsey asking where your playlist for the skits are. She was not able to find it. I'll look. If there isn't a playlist currently, I'll uh, make one after the video. Yeah, and Tanya's wanting a mullet. Not going to do a mullet unless uh, we reach a million followers by the end of the year. And uh, Weva giving me some positive feedback. Likes me much better than the tripod. Dang. So thank you very much for that. All right, let's go over... Um, you can just you can just pan this case. We got a lot of high ends in here. Some Montegrappa, some Omas, some. Uh, How much was that Pelican? The demonstrator is like two hundred, or the highlighter is like two hundred ish. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the M eight hundred is like eight hundred. Sounds of a pen shop ASMR. All right, I'll take one of these pens out. Um, see if I get the right key first try. Nope. See if I get the right key second try. Oh, nope. Third try. Sorry, guys. We have so many keys, and they all look exactly the same. All right, so this is the ST DuPont. Defi Millennium. This is what's called a hooded nib, where the nib is tucked under the grip section, so it's not quite like the inlaid nib that you saw in the Karen. Uh, but these are pretty new, about a year old. Magnetic cap closure, very futuristic or modern approach in terms of the design. These go for about $300, and what's really nice is you can get into the DuPont brand without spending you know, $800 on one of their premium designs, such as the Line D Large Guilloches, in which there's a big announcement that we are about to make. Um, they are releasing the three newest Northern American, North American exclusive guilloches. We don't have them available yet in store. I think they're available for pre-order, but the guilloche work is just undeniably dope. So three new colors, it's gonna be like a purple, a blue, and a gray. So SC DuPont has quickly become one of my favorite brands. It's the most jewelry-esque brand that we have in the shop. Very, very premium stuff. Super, super fancy and really elegant. All right, let me uh, fix that display. Boom. Uh, next up in this case, this is kind of a hodgepodge of just a lot of different brands. Um, you know, we got Edison over there, Leonardo, Heinz Penco, Stipula, Bainu, Magna Carta, Penlux, Laban. I mean, these are all really fun brands, you know, that maybe only take up a tray worth. So um, a lot of unique finishes in here, whether it's acrylic based or stone based from actual rocks. Yeah, and these are pretty much resin. most of the most colorful pens we have in the store here. Kelsey looking for the, the pink pens. We got one right there from the new little pink and purple. Excellent. Um, one thing I want to highlight is the Van Gogh collection from Visconti. This is one of the bread and butter models. Um, every year they release about one or two of the Visconti Van Gogh um, pens um, inspired by Van Gogh's paintings. You know, he had over thousands of them. So this collection is essentially limitless, I'd suggest. But some of the more notable ones that are still part of the regular edition are going to be the self-portraits, um, the Starry Nights. Yeah, and no, a fun thing with these every one of these come with a matching bottle of ink designed specifically for the the van gogh pens so almost all of them i think there's uh, they, one or two that don't all of them do now yes all of them do now oh okay that must be a recent transition yeah, over the last then. six months or so all right well good because uh yeah some of them it's kind of challenging to know which ones come with the bottles which ones don't 
Um, this is the most popular one. I'd probably say the Orchard and Blossom. And these are actually faceted, so when you spin it quickly, you get a nice light refraction off them. Rose gold hardware, all of that good stuff. You got yeah. some heavy hitters in here too, like Ink Ta and. What and were you gonna say? I just saw. Will you be getting any more Magna Carta Sapphire Clear? Um, most likely. Uh, don't know if we have a for sure restock date, uh, but the that collection has been doing very well for us. Uh, this is our Conklin and Monteverde assortment. Um, and Y Studio is also in here, which I'll showcase. Um, but for the Conklin, I kind of wanted to highlight the Herringbone collection. It's a redone, revisited design. Um, basically, it's a guilloche. Yeah, and Kelsey was asking if we got the love story from the new back. That was the one that Brian showed, the pink one. Can we go through the price of these pens? So yeah, we can start doing that on a, a few of these. We also have all these on our website, atlasstationers.com. Yeah, 76 on uh, the herringbone. Um, and then another one that we wanna highlight is the Conklin 125th anniversary Nozak filler. Um, this one was actually designed by Dante Del Vecchio of Niter. Um, basically, it is another incredible, insanely new and unique filling system. It's basically an internal piston, but in one full rotation, the entire pen fills. So if you yeah, zoom you can, in. No, you can see it. It was good there. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You can see the rot. Yeah. One full rotation, the entire pen fills. Really, really cool. These are about a thousand. Oh, Kelsey was asking if Love Story and Medium is getting re restocked. Oh, uh, probably. Don't yeah, know when. If we don't have it, I'm sure it will be. Um, and then lastly, let's highlight the Monteverde Mega. Um, this is a carbon fiber pen. The idea behind this was Monteverde wanted to release a mass produced um, fountain pen of this large, this size, um, but in full carbon fiber that doesn't break the bank. There are pens out here with this exact style that are over a grand. This one is $150. So really cool, beautiful design. All right, and then lastly out of this case, Y Studio is a very uh, Actually, I'm sorry, can you show the Ritmus? Because that's a great sure. pen for about $45. Yeah, this is entry level. If you want to give somebody a very substantial feeling pen with a great writing experience to start off, do the Ritma. Instead of, you know, maybe instead of the Lamy Safari or the Twisby Eco or the Narwhal Original Plus, because, you know, those ones are talked about all the time. The Ritma is just bread and butter at entry level for show. Yeah, $45 can get the magnetic cap. Very good deal. Very good deal. Um, this is the Y Studio Revolve, um, another snap cap closure, um, faceted, not just faceted, but kind of like hexagonal almost. Um, is that hex or maybe it's ah? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagonal. Um, this company started uh, less than like 15 years ago by some engineering uh, individuals, some engineering students, I think in Taiwan, I want to say. Um, and basically they took a more minimalistic approach to focus on the functionality of the pen and design rather than kind of the aesthetic, if you will. So a lot of brass and copper involved. Yeah, and then I had a question uh, asking if that post. So I, I think it might have been about the Ritma. The Ritma post, the magnetic. Ritma for sure, uh, the Y Studio. The Y Studio does not. No. Yeah, Ritma has a magnet on the back end too. Yeah, I got a comment. I was going to get the Twisby Eco, but now that one's on my radar. Yeah, if you're talking cool. about the the Ritma, it is it's a really cool pen. And I had someone asking if we ship to Singapore. You know, I don't remember all the countries we ship to off the top mm -hmm. of my head. We do ship internationally, uh, but we do have an sh international shipping policy uh, at the foot of our website on every page, atlasstationers.com. They'll let you know uh, what countries we can and cannot ship to. So for Narwhal, we got to highlight the newest releases. Um, this is the Miami pen that people have been going crazy about. It's in the uh, what is this one called? The Nautilus, I believe. The Nautilus, yes. Yeah, and then also here's the previous one that a lot of people missed, the Los Angeles. So these are the Voyage series, are part of the Voyage series, um, inspired by colors of the particular cities. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the newest releases and that we're currently out of stock on is the Ferris Wheel Press Esterbrook collaboration. I believe yeah, they same use material. the same material on that pen as they did on same material. this Diamond Narwhal. Cast. 
So you can get a similar pen in a different brand, different body style. And this one goes for, what is it, 160? Yeah, 150. 150, okay. And Anna asking, any updates on the Ferris wheel press collab? Yes. Uh, so we did hear back from Estabrook yesterday. Uh, they are working around the clock to get more pens produced. Uh, they were expecting a shipment last week that didn't arrive. So it's been pushed back a couple weeks. We're hoping by the end of June, we'll have a, a better idea of when the second batch will be released. Uh, but we sh will be getting more pens. Just not entirely sure how many yet. Uh, the next brand I want to highlight is Graf von Faber-Castell. Um, this is a brand that is not really spoken about as much as some of the others. Basically, this brand you can only find with retailers who have actual retail stores. So it's a little more obscure, but one of my favorite brands out there due to the design, the writing experience, and overall just the performance. They also do a series for Bentley, uh, the automobile manufacturer. And so this one right here is called the Bentley Tungsten, and it's actually the same exact material or color that is produced on the car. Um, and it's actually in like a diamond cut guilloche pattern. You have the classic B logo. Um, some of these will have either steel nibs or 14 karat gold nibs. This would be, if, if I were to make a video about a sleeper brand that I think you should check out and that doesn't really seem as spoken about, it'd be Graf on Faber-Castell. Yeah, and Faber-Castell. And Faber-Castell, which is like the, the, the design or the entry line, like design line, premium line. But I'm mean, telling you, their products are so fire. And uh, you know what, we'll start promoting them a little bit more to get the word out because if you trust us and our taste, this is what you should be looking at. Yeah, and, and exciting news. Uh, we do have Faber Castell, Graf Fav Von Faber Castell coming to the sidewalk. Sale. Yes, yeah, Representative Rachel, lovely woman, will be here at our sidewalk sale with gift with purchases um, to represent both of the lines. You guys would love seeing it. She is a very fun person to be around. And ultimately, You'll get the scoop on the products. Here are the uh, Faber Castell, the Ambitions, the Hexos. These ones are going to start at about like forty dollars up to about two fifty, whereas the Graf line, the premium line, starts at about like two fifty and then up to about a thousand. So you got that. Um, only a couple more cases, and I think yeah. We why got don't a you bounce. show the yeah? We have a couple minutes here. Why don't you show the Karen Dosh uh, eight forty nine spinner? Oh, okay. Just yeah. Spin that. Yeah, Karen Dosh spinner all of the ball points and fountain pens, so many different designs. Even a lot have of a different couple, colors. Even have a couple of mechanical pencils sprinkled in here. And, and then Wava is going to the sidewalk sale. Wava, that's what's up. That's what's up. And then uh, also the premium design, designs by Karen Dosh, uh, the Le Mans up here, some Ecuador's right here, um, the new pink spring edition. Karen Dosh is a great brand as well. I kind of tie them in with Graf on Favorite Castell and brands that you should be more aware of. Um, then the last two cases here, we've got Esterbrook, uh, Waldman, Montegrappa, and Aurora. Um, you guys know the deal with, with uh, Esterbrook. Sorry, as I just spit everywhere. Um, two big models that we carry from them, the JR, which is inspired by the Esterbrook J, a very vintage-esque, more smaller pocket size pen. They revived it and kind of innovated it and did a lot of these fun colors. And then, of course, you got the classic SCs down below. For Waldman, let's pick out the Titan. This is almost like a sandblasted matte finish. Really weird, I know. But it carries this monochromatic look all the way down. This is a beast of a pen. What's really cool about this is that um, it is all manufactured in Germany. comes in rollerball and fountain. But ultimately, this type of material you don't see too often. Uh, Waldman, I'd greatly consider to be one of the best machinists in the world when it comes to producing pens. And I'm going to show you why here in one second. Um, their Tango, uh, we'll show the purple. You can see it really well. So like, if you look real quick, you'll notice that this is also a guilloche design. Um, it's basically a design where depending on the angle you're looking at the pen, depends on the color that you see, whether it's the lilac or the silver. Below, they use 925 silver. And additionally, some of them give off a rainbow iridescent look when the light refracts off it. Super cool. Another really cool piece is going to be the Grandeur, which is just 
I mean, look at that. The guilloche work is just fantastic. This stuff is so crisp. Yeah, and we had uh, we were asking what the hours are, the details for the sidewalk sale. So nine to four. Both days, Thursday and Friday, will be out there from nine to four. Uh, Brendan and I usually get here pretty early, like five um, or six. Yeah, last but don't year. Don't come then. We need a lot of time. Yeah, to last set up. year I parked outside your yeah. your apartment at like four forty five, I think. Yeah, it was uh, crazy. So we get here and start getting the table set up. Yeah. So if you guys come that early, I'm. Please don't. <laughs> I mean, you can, but just know we won't be able to talk too yeah, much. So by it nine, takes so much effort. Usually by 9, 9.30, everything is yeah. set up for the day. Good to go. Yeah. Uh, we got to get all the question, tables out. Are we products. able to get the Waldman in extra fine? Yeah. Some of them, I think, come in extra fine. Maybe only the dark teal. It's all on our website, though. So if you go to our website, just look up the Waldman Tango, like the dance. You'll be able to see it. Yeah. And uh, Wava says she's getting a hotel. A couple people asking where she's staying. She's uh, pitching a tent out front. Nice. Uh, on the steps, I so think. So we'll do a blog post um, the next like week or so, and we'll give you the recommendation of hotels. Um, maybe we'll pick one hotel. That way everyone has a chance at booking the same one. We'll look at rates you know, for the, the days, and then we'll see which one is a best fit based on rates and location. Yeah, we also have some restaurant hey, ideas. and Yeah, transportation, restaurant ideas. This is the, the Waldman... Etc. Vienna Diamond Lady. It's got like forty plus diamonds in there. This one is three thousand. Sweet pen. All right, that's pretty much gonna do it. You can pan over Montegrappa and Aurora. You guys see these all the time. The yeah, ends. something we don't see though. Can you show the uh, Lamy two thousand? Sure. Because that might be the most popular pen we have in a gold nib, and I don't know if we really have grabbed one before. Yeah, the Lamy 2000 is one of the best sellers. Um, this one is made out of Macrolon, so kind of like fiberglass. Uh, 14 karat gold nib. Uh, and then it's the hooded nib, right? So what they did here is they left a, an ink window um, right here. So that kind of gives me an assumption um, that this is an internal piston or vacuum filling pen. But you might be asking, how do you open it? Well, the machine work or the design work is so good on this, so crisp that you can't even see that it untwists right there. The naked eye can't pick up where it opens due to the consistency of the material. It flushes together so perfectly. Internal piston fill, very, very light in comparison to other pens. So this is an everyday carry. It's a workhorse pen. Go look up the Lamy 2000 on all the forums. I guarantee you all of the serious collectors that you know or that you read about have this pen. Cool. All right, that's pretty much going to do it for me. I'll be honest, I'm uh, very parched. There's a <laughs> lot of talking. Video. Do we have, uh, the last thing we had, did you have a prompt for the giveaway? or do we? Need oh, one? yeah, yeah. We so have a prompt for the giveaway. What are we giving away? Let's, let's give away this Lamy. Let's give away this new Lilac All-Star that just came out this year. Great. This is about a $40 pen. Super beautiful. Nice metallic design made out of aluminum. The prompt is going to be, and we'll get this video up, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, and the prompt was, let us know if you're coming to the sidewalk sale yes. and where you're from. Yes. Uh, even if you're not coming from the sidewalk sale, let us know where you're Still from. Still let us know where you're from. So let us know where you're from and if you will be attending the sidewalk sale or not. Post it in the YouTube replay, and then you will have a shot to win this pen. Yeah, and we, did get, we did get caught up on all the giveaway winners, by the way. So and Tanya pushing for the Lamy 2000 for the giveaway. If on the next video, if you guys get us over 50,000 likes, it's gotta be more, man. That's like a, that's like a $300 retail pen. All right. Overridden. So a hundred thousand likes yes. on the next video. Yeah. We can't just uh, keep giving be, away all of this stuff. Friday, you guys. It's, it's then, costly. It's, it's digging deep into our marketing budget. All right. Is there anything else for you? That's all I got. So if we're all good on the comments, we can do our sign off here. Yep, let's do it. All right, folks, stay smooth. Peace.